Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at a new option set here. This is a MSG option dress up parts that would be modeling support goods, not Mobile Suit Gundam, of course. This is the side cloak. So here these are just option parts for your frame arms girls or Megami device or frame arms kits as well. You could use these for as well. And there's actually a full cloak, but it's they separated it into two parts. So you can see here on the back, this would be the full cloak. They separated the center parts and the side parts as two separate kits, which is kind of annoying. I wish they would have just made as one separate kit but on the other hand if you only wanted the side cloak or something then I guess this is better because this set is not actually all that cheap I, unfortunately it's a little bit expensive really for what it is in my opinion we go up here on the top of the box the list price for this is 1300 yen so that's about this the price of a kind of small regular sort of HD kit and it's just like these parts that's pretty much it but Kotobuka stuff is always a little bit more expensive and these I believe have this kind of pre-painting on there of kind of like this smoke effect there like around the charred edges of there so it's I guess you got to kind of figure that into the the process of why it's gonna cost a little bit more of course but anyway let's take a look at this and so you just kind of got this images of what it looks like there on the front and the side of the box there this would be the Jinrai, right? That they're showing it on there, and then the Gorai there in the background. And yeah, then once again, just the Jinrai here on the back as well for that. So I just went with the side uh, cloak just because I think I like this cool, like this look of just covering one arm. So I'll probably use this for two separate kits. I'll do like one on one kit, and then I'll use another one for another kit later. I won't use them both on the same kit probably because just yeah but anyway all right let's check this out so as always guys big thank you to us at gundam store for sponsoring this review for giving me the chance to check this out and if you guys want to check this out or anything else of course the link to us at gundam store will be down below check that and then you can save 10 percent off everything on their site using the coupon code zaku 10 ah, all right i hate those stickers on there but anyway yep yeah, check the link to their site there down below and it looks like we aren't having any pre-painting on these parts for that charred edge, so I was wrong about that. It's just going to be the parts themselves. So you got the one big part there, one big part for the other side, and then a couple of small parts there for the tops, and then like the connector pieces. And that is it. So very simple, very minimal here in the box, and here's just the instructions for that, how to attach it. So it's going to Here's how it's going to attach onto the arms. If you're familiar with any frame arms kits, basically you've got like the upper arm connects into the lower half of the upper arm. So in between there is where you're going to plug this connector piece. So that'll be just connected on like that. And then you can plug on these parts over the shoulders. And that's how that'll work. So there's just a couple sample images there. Here's showing how to combine it with the center cloak or the middle cloak. I'm not sure what the, I can't remember what the name for that is, but you can see the full cloaked version. So I didn't really want to go for the full cloak. I like just this side cloak bit. Here's the parts list here as well. So for the moment, here's the A runner and it is just regular hard plastic. It's not like in like a little bit softer vinyl or anything like that. So just your typical polystyrene plastic for this. I mean, the molding on it does look good, but no pre-paint or anything on that. So if you want that charred effect, you'll have to just get a little bit of black and just kind of spray that around here at the edges shouldn't be too hard to do but I'll get this you know put together as it were as much as it can really go together and let's try it out on a few kits to just see how it looks all right so put together just straight out of the box I mean they're pretty cool but they're obviously not going to do a whole lot on their own so we need to try these out on a couple of kits first one we're going to try this out on is the firearms girl go right Kai so let me just attach these onto here all right there we go just so you guys can see the fact I just want to show it to you guys with just one arm covered here first because that's a pretty cool look as well and anyway, uh, kind of reminds us all of the Exia repair one I guess it would just be just the Exia repair right it was the one that just had just the one cloth covered arm it's pretty cool look and so it does look pretty cool here on some other stuff as well obviously here on the go ride kai it's a pretty cool look but we'll put on the other arm here just to see how that's going to look as well all right so with both sides attached they're definitely going to be looking really cool and you can make some really cool effects i think with these they add a lot of just dynamic look to the kit i think and well it sucks they don't have that pre-painting that charred edge on there you might want to just go ahead and do that in yourself but at least they are in that nice matte finish, so they do look pretty cool, I gotta say, just straight out of the box like this as well. The one thing though is that they are a little bit heavy, and especially if you're holding a big giant cannon like the Gorai has got there attached onto her arm, that arm is gonna be pretty heavy now, so it's just kind of a miracle that it's not falling down, because the shoulder joint is really getting taxed, I think, by the weight of everything. It's holding on there for the time being, but 
with the weight that's on there, especially holding a heavy weapon, just be, sh be sure that you've got that joint in the shoulder nice and secure, maybe tighten that up with a little glue or something like that, but these do add some weight onto the arms. But anyway, that is an example of how these look on a Frame Arms girl, but how about, of course, just on the regular Gorai Frame Arms kit? Well, that is where we're going to be running into problems because as this is made for the Frame Arms girls, how it has this ring here that fits there on the arm, the Gorai doesn't really particularly have that, and even if it did, it'd be kind of hard with this giant shoulder armor in the way. Now, one thing that you could do with this, if we remove the shoulder armor and then remove this peg here from that bit, you see there is no hard point here on the outside of the uh, architect frame part of the shoulder here, but if you were to just drill a hole in there and then use a connector piece, you could then connect this onto the side of the arm like that, but it's still not really very convincing. So I think probably what our best option is gonna be is just removing the arm entirely and then having this to be looking like it's just a cover for where the arm maybe was removed or completely taken off. Problem that I'm finding now though is that the peg is not quite long enough to fit into there. This kind of can't really fit or it's in fact a slightly different size peg, which is hard to believe because Kotobuki usually sticks to the same three millimeter peg size and it seems like it almost fits, but it's really super tight and not quite fitting in there. So it looks like if you wanted to use this on a frame arms kit, you're in for a little bit of modification that's going to be required. That's at least for the go right here, of course, anyway. Every frame arms kit is a little bit different, so with other kits, it may fit on there a little bit better. Uh, I'm not going to try it on every single frame arms kit that I have here. But the important thing to know is that it's probably going to end up taking some modification in order for this to be used with an actual frame arms kit. But with frame arms girls kits, they look pretty awesome, so really happy with these. They're pretty cool. I'll have to, I do have the Jinrai, which is like the kit that's modeled on the outside of the box as we saw. Uh, but I don't have it built up at the moment, so I'll have to get that built up and reviewed for you guys in the future. And maybe in that review, we'll try out some of these parts again, just so we can see how they look on the Jinrai, because it does look pretty cool in the promotional material. But that's it for the side cloaks here. If you guys have any other further questions or comments about these, feel free to leave those down below. Hopefully the review is helpful for anyone who is interested in just checking out these parts. They're pretty simple and a little bit expensive for what they are, but they do look really cool. So if you're looking for this type of thing for your Frame Arms Girls kits or Megami Device kits, then I would say definitely worth picking up. They add a nice cool effect to the kits. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.